Hello everyone. So we are here today to do a wonderful yoga practice and the reason why yoga is um, a beautiful practice is because it connects you and gets you in tune with your whole self, your mind, your body and your spirit. One of my favorite sayings is peace is every step. Peace is Every Breath by Thich Nhat Hanh, a wonderful mindful master. And when we live breath by breath whenever we can, it just brings us into the present moment. So yoga is that practice that does that. I'm Anita Barbero, a transformational health coach. I focus on every part of you, your mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical well-being. I do this and communicate it through yoga and meditation practices, which are such a gift. And that is my message, that life is a gift to be savored as much as we can every moment. And these are practices that help us do that. Our health is essential to our well-being. You can contact me or go to my website, anitabarbero.com. Thank you and enjoy all the offerings on my YouTube page. Okay, we are here to practice yoga in this beautiful place. Welcome. This is a vinyasa easy flow class for everyone. So listen to your bodies, enjoy the practice, and definitely uh, use your breath to be in the moment. So these are my wonderful ladies behind us, wonderful women, and we are going to practice together. So we're gonna remove our masks. We're gonna remove our masks. And we're all so happy to be here. All right, so let's begin in a nice, strong, but soft mountain pose. Connect to your breath. And just feel the earth, the ground beneath you. Relax your body. And just take a moment to pause. Just to stay connected to your breath. And then to listen. to hear the sounds, to feel the air that's in your space. Just pausing to feel, to connect. Let's begin movement, three sun breaths, inhale. Exhale, and again, inhale, exhale, and one more time, inhale, pause, hands to heart center, exhale. Set your intention for your practice. Why are you here? and practicing together in community. Inhale, both arms up, open up, exhale, pass through your center. So just doing the spinal roll up, drop your head, spinal roll up, one vertebra at a time. Inhale, come all the way up, exhale. And again, inhale, exhale, pass through your center, drop your head, Round and roll it up. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Pause. Look up. Exhale. Pass through your center. Drop the head. Round and roll it up. Inhale. Come all the way up. Exhale. Both arms up. Inhale. Strong mountain pose. Reach up. Exhale, slide the shoulders down the back. Reach up high, inhale, side lateral stretch right, exhale. 
And again, inhale, exhale left. And again, inhale, exhale. And one more time, inhale, exhale. Both arms up, inhale, open up big, exhale. And again, inhale, exhale, open. And one more time, inhale, exhale, open. One shoulder shrug, inhale, exhale. Both arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center, chair pose. Reach the arms up, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, chair pose. And again, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, reach, exhale, pause. Hold the pose, relax your shoulders. Relax your elbows. Drape yourself over your legs. Straight legs. Straighten your legs. Yep, fingertips touch the ground or the floor. Tuck your chin. Yeah, and just feel the stretch in the lower back. Take a breath. Take a breath. And spinal roll up, come up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, all the way up, exhale. Both arms up, inhale, look up. Exhale, slide the shoulders down the back. Strong, strong mountains. Stay connected to your breath. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, side lateral stretch. Reach down, reach over. Take your right hand and just gently press to get a further stretch. Both arms up, inhale, open up, exhale. Inhale, both arms up, reach up high, exhale, slide the shoulders down the back. Again, reroute deeply. Reach up high, inhale, Exhale. Deep breath. Go a little further. Take your bottom hand. Press gently. Soften the right arm. Maybe you'll want to rotate your chin up. Both arms up. Inhale. Sweep the arms back into high chair pose. Exhale. Relax your shoulders. Come into prayer pose. Hmm, how appropriate is that? We hear the church bells here. <laughs> how beautiful. Okay, go down. Palms flat, drop the head. Begin to straighten your legs. And see what it feels like to, to get your palms flat. You never force anything, so if you want to, if your knees soften, that's beautiful. Relax your head and your neck. And a spinal roll up. Come up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale. Both arms up. Inhale. Exhale, slide the shoulders down the back. You're going to open up to five-pointed star. Arms out. So five-pointed star, feet are forward. Legs are further apart than shoulder width, tailbone down. Relax your shoulders. Inhale. Warrior two, right side. Exhale. Find something to focus on. <laughs> It's not hard. <laughs> Sweep the left arm through into crescent lunge. Inhale. So this is our vinyasa. Exhale. Go down. Pull the front leg back 
into high plank. Take a deep breath. And if you need to put your knees down to do the vinyasa, do that. Go down, exhale. Nice. Open gently to upward facing dog. And go to downward facing dog. Yeah. And if you feel like you need to narrow your V, your downward dog, just walk your feet in slightly. Lift your heels, everyone. Lift your heels. Inhale. Exhale, press into the hips, heels. Keep your heels lifted. Open your chest and then exhale, lower the heels. Yeah. Drop your head and just see if you can wrap your shoulders around your back. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Just make your way to the front of your mat. Walk, one big step, little steps. Soften the knees, drop your head, take your hands and just interlace your fingers and stretch. If you need to modify this, you can just put your hands on your low back and do this. If you're really tight in your shoulders, you want to do this. Relax your necks, everyone. It's so important to tell your body to relax during your yoga and connect to your breath. That's beautiful. Yes, Lisa. Yep. All right. Lower the arms, so release. And do your spinal roll up once again. Spinal roll up. Inhale. Exhale. Different view. Both arms up. Inhale. Exhale, mountain pose. Uh, chair pose. You're going to take your left leg back into warrior one. Left leg back, warrior one. Inhale. So back heel on the ground. Exhale to warrior two. Yeah. You want, just check your, your postures. Peaceful warrior, inhale. Right arm, right leg, exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale. Nice, beautiful. And let's hold peaceful warrior. Inhale. Exhale. So just soften. Notice what you see. Be in the moment. Inhale, exhale to two. Back to five pointed star. Inhale. Exhale, left side. Notice what you see here. Just focus on one thing. Relax your shoulders. Right arm comes through. Inhale, you're into crescent. Exhale, go down. Pull your front leg back into high plank. Make sure your hands go right underneath your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And again, knees can go down just like this. Exhale, open gently to upward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Spread your fingers, hips high. Exhale. Just make your way to the front of your mat. One big step or little steps, whatever works best for you. Drop your head, you're in a forward fold. Yeah. Be willing to explore and find, you know, the place that feels good. That's right, Bethany. Spinal roll up. One vertebra at a time. Inhale. Exhale. Pause. Both arms up. We're in Tadasana here. Mountain pose. Inhale. Exhale. Slide the shoulders down the back. Again, focus on one beautiful point. Inhale. Sweep the arms back. Go into chair pose. Utkatasana. Exhale. Arms up. Inhale. 
right leg back into warrior one. Exhale. You can lower your arms and, yep, don't worry. Inhale. Exhale to two. Warrior two. So just look at your feet. Left knee is bent. Right leg straight. Relax your arms. Peaceful warrior. Inhale. Left arm on the left leg. Exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale. And let's hold peaceful warrior. Inhale, pause, exhale, soften. Notice what you see here. Feel. Come back to your center. Inhale. Exhale, five pointed star. Forward fold. So bring your hands to prayer pose. Now your knees can be bent if you're tight in your hamstrings, or you can go straight down. So your choice. Exhale as you go down. Drop your head. And let's just hang. So fold the arms and just hang. You can move side to side or just, you know, explore. Yoga is this big exploration of movement, of self. And then find the still point. You know, be in the stillness. Relax. Enjoy. Release the arms, spinal roll up. So here you wanna bend your knees slightly and just do that spinal roll up, inhale, exhale. We're gonna continue with this vinyasa adding on. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, right side warrior two. Take a breath, relax. <laughs> Left arm comes through, inhale, back heel off the ground. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer pose. Notice what you see. <laughs> Is that beautiful or what? We're looking at a, a billy goat sitting right on the rock. <laughs> inhale, both arms up. Exhale, go down. Pull your front leg back, hands underneath your shoulders. Deep breath in. Exhale, go down. Again, your knees can go down. I'm going to do that for you. Inhale up to upward. Open up. Exhale, downward. Hips high. Walk the feet in a little bit. Spread your fingers. Press into your hips, heels. Lovely. So lift your right leg up high. Lift your right leg up big. Inhale. Bring the right leg through. Exhale into low lunge. Yep. Yep. So you, you want your knee right over your heel. So put that front foot out as, as much as you need to to get the knee at 90 degrees. Accelerate the left leg back. Put your left hand by your right foot and lift the right arm up. You can drop to your left knee if that's easier for you. Okay, so you're either doing this or you can just drop to the knee. There you go, Christine's on her knee. So inhale, reach up high, touch the sky. Exhale, come down. Bring the left foot in. We're gonna come up to warrior one, okay, this time. So left foot comes in, come up to warrior one. It's all right. Inhale, exhale, open up to warrior one. Yeah, sorry, Lindsay, it's okay. Open, hands back behind your head. 
and then reach the arms up inhale and just blast them a little further into this posture exhale yeah relax your shoulders notice what you see how you feel just notice both arms up inhale reach up high exhale to warrior two yeah relax peaceful warrior inhale exhale hold this pose right arm right leg reach up to the sky connect to your breath let's take our left arm bend the left arm put it right on your back and see if you have any more space to lift the shoulder eyes are up always make sure you have movement in your neck you don't want to constrict anything inhale reach exhale five-pointed star inhale open exhale go down straight legs or bent knees down here you want your legs a little further apart so feel free to push your legs out a little further that's right yes Bethany nice and again if your knees bend naturally you just allow but rotate your hips to the back reach the arms out in front of you yeah yep that's right Wendy and just press your chest right to the ground relax your neck and just feel your body stretch yeah deep breath in deep breath out walk your hands in we're going to do a spinal roll up so you may need to walk your feet in a tad to do that put your hands on your legs spinal roll up inhale come all the way up exhale vinyasa on the left side inhale exhale open big warrior two relax enjoy right arm sweeps through you're in crescent your back heel off the ground exhale hands to prayer pose hold the pose say a prayer <laughs> life's a prayer right both arms up inhale open exhale go down you can support yourself going down front leg back deep breath in lift your hips exhale you rotate your arms in go down open to upward inhale pause exhale downward facing dog deep breath in deep breath out in that exhale let something go left leg lifts inhale big exhale bring the left leg through low lunge or runner stretch so scoot that front foot out enough so the knee is right over the heel we're protecting our knees and our joints right hand by the left foot left arm lifts inhale exhale just open to the pose and you can put your knee down if you need to Christine's putting her knee down there an option here too is to bend the arm if you really tighten your shoulders when you bend the arm it just relieves pressure for, uh, off the shoulders so the invitation is always there inhale reach up high exhale put the hand down 
scoot the right foot in, you're going to come up to warrior one. So really ground your feet. Come up to warrior one. Inhale. And exhale, just open up to it. Open, 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 open. Right? And then be where you are. You can express yourself if you're, you know, a real seasoned yogi and you feel really good doing the connecting the hands reaching up going back for this you always have options just open up reach up high inhale exhale big warrior 2 ha are we smiling <laughs> Are we smiling? Are we happy? So peaceful warrior, inhale. Exhale, left arm, left leg. And hold the pose. Reach up high, touch the sky. Connect to the breath. Reach the right arm over the ear if you want that beautiful lateral stretch. Inhale, back up to two. Exhale, five-pointed star. <sighs> Inhale, reach open. Exhale, hands to prayer pose. Straight legs or bent knees. Go down. Drop the head again. If you have to put your hands down, if you have to get your legs further apart, particularly in this posture, do that. Heels out, toes in. This time, as you rotate your hips to the back, walk your hands through your legs. Drop your head and just reach back. See how that feels. Hmm, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Take your breaths, get yourself back in the moment. So beautiful. All right, walk your hands forward now to come up. If you're warmed up, that's exactly right. You brought your feet in a little bit. You don't want to do a split coming up, right? So if something feels off, you make the adjustments. You can either come up straight legs or bent knees. So if you're gonna come up bent knees, it's a spinal roll up. If you come up straight legs, it's one arm, connect to your core, other arm, inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach, exhale, warrior two. Hold the pose, relax. Left arm sweeps through, inhale, you're in crescent, exhale to prayer pose. So we're going to do our prayer twist here. Reach forward slightly, right? Ground your feet, inhale, then exhale and twist. So if you feel really off balance, you can just bring your leg in a little bit and put your heel on the floor or on the ground. Relax your shoulders, everyone. Press your palms together more. Inhale, see if there's more of a twist. Exhale, just relax. Come back to your center. Inhale. Exhale, go down. Pull the front leg back. Are you ready? Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do, and you can modify, one tricep push-up. <laughs> Look, you can do it like this. Inhale, exhale, elbows come in, go down, chin touches, inhale, come up. I'm gonna stay honest. Vinyasa down. <laughs> We're not doing more than one. 
Inhale to upward. Open up. Exhale to downward. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Right leg lifts. Inhale big. Big, big, big. Exhale, bring the right leg through. You're going to come up to warrior one, so ground the foot. Come on up. Inhale. Exhale once again. Open up to it. Yep. Warrior one. Let's take the hands back behind us. Inhale. Interlace your fingers. So the option would be to exhale, please. Put your hands on your low back, but keep your legs exactly where they are. Inhale, go down, exhale. Relax your heads. Again, if you need to modify or give yourself some relief, put your hands on your low back, just like this. Release the arms. Inhale, come up. Exhale to two. I know we probably want to straighten our legs, so straighten the right leg. <laughs> Just check your feet. Form reverse triangle. So shift the hips. Right arm comes up. Left arm slides down. And just soften where you can. Just soften. You look beautiful. Yeah. So it's all about tapping into your beauty and your strength. Come on back. Inhale. Exhale, five pointed star. Open up. Inhale. Exhale, go down straight legs or bent knees. Again, when you're down here, take the legs a little further apart. You want a wide stance, feet are forward. Using your feet to ground you. Left hand in front of your sternum, right arm lifts, inhale. Exhale, just Open up big. Stay connected to your body. Stay connected to your breath. <laughs> Inhale, reach up high. Open up a little more maybe. Exhale, put the right hand in front of you. Now your left arm lifts. Inhale. Exhale and open. Deep breath, inhale, exhale, come down. Take a breath, walk your feet in just a tad. So you're either gonna come up bent knees or straight legs. If you come out uh, straight legs, put one hand out, the other hand, really connect to your core, and then come up, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Sweep the arms, uh, the right arm, through crescent. Inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer pose. Really connect to the earth, to the ground. Reach forward. Inhale. Then do your twist. Exhale. Again, you can bring the right foot in for better balance. Listen to your bodies always. <laughs> Stay connected to the breath. Press your palms together more. Inhale. Is there any more space? Exhale. Come back to your center. Inhale. Reach up high. Exhale. Go down. Vinyasa down. Pull that front leg back. Get yourself into a strong plank. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. Connect to your core. One tricep push-up. So honestly, if you need to put your knees down, that's 
that's a beginning. There's always a beginning. Go down, push yourself up. This is how we strengthen our arms, our shoulders. Now vinyasa down, lift your hips, go down, open to upward. Exhale, downward, hips high, pull back, chest, just release, release something. Left leg lifts, inhale, big. Exhale, bring your left leg through. Ground the foot, coming up to warrior one, holding warrior one, inhale. Exhale, open. Just find that spot. Yeah, and you plant your right foot, right foot right on the, on the ground. And then just find that space. Take your hands, interlace your fingers. Inhale, go down like this or put your hands on your low back. Drop your head. That's right, Lisa, yeah. There's always options so that you don't have to struggle. A lot of the invitation with yoga is to not struggle, to just find those spots where you don't have to suffer. Release everyone, release those arms, come on up, big sweep up, inhale, exhale, big to warrior two. Check your, your postures, your feet. Straighten the leg, left leg. Reposition your, your whole core and then go into reversal triangle. Looking up at the beautiful sky, or wherever you are in your space, just be open. Bring it back to warrior. Uh, no, nope. uh, sorry, five pointed star. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, open. Go down, exhale. Legs a little further apart. Walk your hands through your legs. Drop your head. Reach way back. No, you're good there, Bethany, yeah. Walk your hands forward. Turn your feet out towards the corner of your mat. And just, we're just gonna lunge, so getting the inner thighs, lunge right and left. Let's hold to the right, right knee bent. Just look at your knee, make sure your knee is right over your heel. So you get the stretch in the left inner thigh. That left foot is turned out, your toe is to the corner of the mat and then lift the left foot a little bit to get a further stretch. Now bring yourself into low lunge Low lunge, yep, you're good, Crystal, back there. Then bring the left leg all the way through into forward fold. Drop your head, yes. Spinal roll up, inhale, exhale. Smiling, I see smiles, nice. Inhale, exhale, mountain pose. Ready to balance? Yes? We cannot do an, a yoga practice outside without doing tree pose. So, take your right leg, mm -hmm. and wherever, yeah, you can take your hand or you, you know, be where you are. 
focus your gaze. These are our branches. We're always flexible, but very strong in our foundation. Beautiful. Inhale, take your right leg back into warrior one, exhale. Good. Mm -hmm. Inhale, guess what we're gonna do now? Warrior three, exhale. So you come up, you can bring your hands to prayer pose, you have options and just lift. The big thing is stay out of judgment. It's not about perfection. It's just about being where you are. But look at how beautiful. Inhale. Exhale, come on down. Awesome. Inhale, so both legs are straight. We're gonna do pyramid. Both legs straight now. Inhale, reach. Exhale, let's put our hands on our low back. Reach forward, so both legs are straight. Let's pause here, connect to your core. Neck is long. Just check in. Tune in to your body. Release the hands. Walk down your leg. Really get the hamstring stretch front leg. You can put your hands down anytime. Ease your head down, your torso to your leg, and just relax. Stretch. Enjoy. Okay. Bring the right foot in, the back foot. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold, just forward fold. Left leg steps back into low lunge. Sweep yourself around right here. Back to the front. Turn your feet out. Make sure your legs are far enough apart and lunge left, lunge right. Yeah. And then when you're ready, hold to your left side to stretch the right inner thigh. Again, check your feet out, everyone. That right foot you want in the corner of your mat right. And then for a further stretch, you can pick up the toes, right foot. Pivot around, low lunge. Right? Then bring your back leg all the way through into forward fold, palms flat, and just really get a nice forward fold. Your knees can be bent, that's okay, right? We're not forcing. And then take your spinal roll up. One vertebra at a time, inhale. Exhale. Mountain pose. Inhale, exhale, tree, left side, so your left leg. Yep, exactly. And right, if you come out of it, you just get back in. Again, it's not about perfection. Mm -mm. This is your starting point. This is your starting point. There's always a starting point. Relax. Inhale, looking good. Exhale. Come on down. Warrior. So sweep the, hang on, your left leg back. Left leg. Inhale. Take it into warrior three, exhale. Focus your gaze, connect to your core, and when you're ready, go. Yeah. Be 
kind to yourself, stay out of judgment, and you stay in the I am. I am strong. I am balanced. Come on down. Straighten up. Beautiful. Both arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Reach forward. Keep reaching. Keep reaching. Crown of the head front. Both legs are straight. Use your quadriceps. When you're ready, lower your hands. Hips go to the back. Walk down the leg. Relax your body. Stay in your body. Make sure your self-talk is kind. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bring your back leg in. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, press your hands against your legs. Exhale, fold. Step back, high plank. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, go down, vinyasa. Open to upward facing dog. Let's pause, exhale, pause here. Slide your shoulders down your back, soften your elbows. And you can always drop to Sphinx pose if you need, if this pose is not good on your back, you can drop to Sphinx pose. Just like this. Elbows are in alignment. Just open your chest, everyone. Slide your shoulders down the back. And you can always go into child pose whenever you feel you need a break, which we're gonna do now anyway. Child pose. <laughs> I know they're all saying it's about time. That's what they're saying. <laughs> you can do a relaxed child pose. Bethany, why don't you show them how to just be in a child pose, but put your arms back behind you. Yeah, so that releases the shoulders. Yeah, if you want to do that, you can. Pressing chest into the ground. So Lindsay has a beautiful uh, back here, chest into the ground. And Lisa's beautifully relaxed. Christine. Crystal. Yeah, everybody looks beautiful. Yeah, knees can be apart. Big toes together if that's better. If you have bad knees, it could be tough. So you could lie on your back and bring your knees to chest. All right, everyone. So we are from here. We are, we are going to go into low plank, <laughs> forearm plank. Because this is my favorite strength pose. Um, elbows underneath the shoulders connect to your core you're so strong I am so strong that's what your self-talk is so keep it there whenever you need a break just put your knees on the ground or if you're starting here you, again there's that starting point how we doing good <laughs> No response. I, I'm not going to ask them if they're happy now. <laughs> right? I'm also not going to tell you how long we've held before. <laughs> Back in the day. All right, before COVID. <laughs> All right, come on down. Everybody's in Sphinx pose. Slide the shoulders down the back. So. Look at your arms, look down. Make sure you're in alignment, elbows, shoulders. Can you move your neck? That's always important. And then just find that sweet spot. 
Relax your belly. Okay, we're gonna go down. Put your hands by your chest. Tuck your chin, you'll get a nice stretch in your neck. Go back up through upward, inhale, and back into child pose. Exhale, knees apart, big toes together. Do your best comfortable child pose now. So, you know, more restful than dynamic. Okay, so coming up on your hands and knees, you're in neutral spine. We're gonna do cat dog or some yoga practices, it's cat cow. Maybe since we're on the farm, we should do cat cow. <laughs> All right, we're on a farm. All right, um, so neutral spine, inhale, tilt the pelvis, belly down, chin goes up. These are awesome stretches for your back. And then exhale, contract, tuck the chin. Inhale, sink. So you basically want your arms not to move, straight arms. Exhale, contract. And let's go one more time. Inhale. Exhale, pause here, tuck the chin, round your back, and just pause and feel with your back rounded. Then inhale, exhale to neutral spine. So I'm gonna take you into pigeon. We're gonna do pigeon, which I think you'll all be happy. People love pigeon, happy pigeon. So sink the back first, curl the toes, go into downward facing dog from this posture, exhale. Just so you can lift your right leg just a little or a bit and bring your right leg into pigeon. So. Pigeon, that's okay. And then if you want, so you feel where your right foot is, wants to be, and take yourself down, yep. So, Wendy, can I borrow a brick? Mm -hmm. So if you're really tight, Lisa, I'm gonna put a brick. You can put a brick or a blanket here so that you have some, yeah, support. And then you wanna scoot your right foot. You don't wanna be sitting on your right foot. If you have a bad right knee, um, like I have a bad right knee, a pigeon is, I cannot do it on my right leg. So you can go on your back and do it this way. You put the right foot, you put your foot on the knee and just push the leg away a little bit. It's not great, but it works. And then you could even bring your knee in if you have that flexibility. It just will help stretch here. That's if you cannot do pigeon there. So relax, relax your back foot. Yeah, Elise, yeah. And you find those spots where you need to put your breath in, where it might be a little tight, move your body around, or just see if you can breathe a little love, a little tenderness into it. Be kind to yourself. Okay, coming up, inhale. Yep, bring your body straight, exhale. So, um, Come into high plank, pull the right leg back into high plank. Yep, just get the brick right there. And you can do a full vinyasa with the left leg or you can just pull your left leg up and bring it through for do what works for you, for pigeon. So you wanna get into pigeon left side. That's right, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget about your back leg. <laughs> That's right, Wendy, so nice, yeah. Are you tighten your hips, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just finding these 
your support. Like you can put, if you have a yoga brick or just a blanket. Again, the invitation is to go on your back. If you're really suffering, you don't want to suffer. Or just go, you know, come out of it, right? Relax your upper backs. Deep breath in. See if you can just let something go, relax, deep breath out. Stay in your space, feel your body. Relax, breathe, enjoy. Come on up. Inhale. So exhale, just sweep the right leg around, right? So just sweep it around and you're going to come this way, seated forward. Here we are. So you can sit with the soles of your feet together or cross your legs. This is a yoga posture. Kids love this, by the way. It's called butterfly. <laughs> We're all kids at heart, aren't we? <laughs> all right, extend the legs out straight. Inhale, exhale, arms down. Let's bend our left leg. Wrap, we're gonna do a twist. Wrap the right arm around the left leg. You can, if you're really flexible, you can put the left foot over the right. You can even bend your right leg. Um, wrap the right arm around the right leg. Inhale, lift through the torso. Exhale, give yourself a nice twist. Lower your chin. Connect to your breath. You can, you know, there's options here. You can put the right elbow on the outside left thigh. Straighten the arm. Yoga is a huge exploration of yourself. So being willing to explore and having a little fun with it. Hmm? Okay, release. Inhale. Exhale. So this is your forward uh, fold seated. Relax your elbows. Reach towards your feet. Arms up, inhale, exhale, open. Right knee bends, left arm wraps or goes on the outside or elbow. Inhale, lift, exhale, nice twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. A little further maybe, is there anything left? Inhale, both arms up. Exhale. So crossing your legs or however you're comfortable, ending our practice. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, palms up, resting. Just stay open to the flow of energy. Open to all the gifts, all the blessings that are there. With a grateful, with a grateful heart. I am here.
bringing hands together in prayer pose, thumbs strong at the heart. From our peaceful heart out into the universe for peace, for love. This is contributing to the greater good as a community. Then bringing that same blessing, peace back to those in our own lives. Especially now during this time we are in COVID where we can't connect with others, those we love, the way we want. So we send blessings, love, peace. Then to each other in our communities. In this practice, And then bowing your heads, taking this opportunity to acknowledge your own self, your own heart, and your own goodness. And with deep gratitude, inner peace, and love, namaste.